So Bill Clinton is giving an extremely long, long speech endorsing his wife because he's going to endorse. He wants to fight extremism. No, he does not fight. He's, he's inviting extremism. Inviting extremism. Yes. No, are you saying, I mean, he, he, Donald I Trump. See. Donald Trump is the one who's inviting extremism. Yes. So you're saying that Donald Trump's, if he becomes president, there'll be a lot of bombings and destruction of yes. of Twin Towers in America. That motherfucker is good for nothing. That motherfucker is good for nothing. This Donald Trump. Hell you go. Donald Trump. Okay. He's, okay, what is one of his ideologies? He says he's going to kick out all the Muslims out from not, America. Not, not kick out the Muslims. He's going to bar them from coming into the country. Ah, yeah, yeah, of course, later they're going to kick no, them out. No, whatever he says now, uh, Donald Trump, uh, he, he can't... He can't put it into policy. He can't pass the bill to like stop Muslims from coming in because all these rules uh, have to go through the Senate. So Donald Trump will have the same opposition that o Barack Obama had when he was a president. He's going. He's all his bills or whatever extreme, extreme bills are uh, like barring. Muslims from coming into the country or building a wall, uh, they won't get passed by the Senate or whatever. But what I wanted to say is there's only one way to actually stop terrorism that is to make the whole world great again. That means America is rich. That's why a lot of, a lot of, a lot of these uh, ragheads or Arabs they want to destroy it because they see inequality. inequality. So the only way to do to make everybody happy and not strap bombs onto themselves is to make places like Afghanistan, India, Pakistan, whatever, wherever these terrorists come from, better. Life better. Make sure Sharia Sharia law make sure it's not that that uh, not that popular. Make sure that uh, that all these uh, religious schools are not the epitome of schooling. Make sure that the schools or education in all these places are like based on science and not religion. So you do that and give them top-notch facilities like healthcare and whatnot. If you be good or you treat the citizens well, make sure they get the funds directly. Don't just give it to the government because governments in all these countries are fucked. The money will end up in some terrorist organism. So. Be hands on, go or to go on the ground, send your not your soldiers but send your healthcare workers, doctors and whatnot. So you dump them there, then you build those facilities like hospitals and recreational places and massage parlors and also prostitution places and if all the men are happy they will not blow themselves up. If they can get a happy ending every day or once a, at least once a week, they won't they will think that life is good. And therefore, they won't like go travel to America and destroy somebody else's freedom. So you make them happy, and definitely they won't join all these extremist or uh, terrorist groups. So it's easy to actually solve the problem of terrorism. Make sure the wealth that America gets from selling all these intellectual property rights or licensing or or cinema tickets just dis redistribute all these profits. Don't let it be uh, accumulated by certain individuals. Use that money, make the world better. Put all those great stuff that 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 the Arabs or all these terrorist fellows envy um, America. So they they are envious. Give them all the good stuff, and definitely they won't kill other people. Okay, make sh if you make sure that wars do not happen in what Libya and whatever Iraq, make sure the facil facilities are great, then they won't like go into another country like Europe and start start, start trouble or creating havoc. So end of the day, make sure the wealth goes to all these countries, make sure it's spent well, and if they're happy, there'll be no more explosions, and there will be explosions in the groin area instead.